Nearly 14,000 polling station across the nation has just come to an end at 8 p.m. here in South Korea. Let's connect to our Kim Hyasung, who is in Songpago district, which, along with Gangnam and Socho districts, are considered a stronghold for conservative candidates and also a key battleground. Hyasung, how are things looking where you are? Good evening, Daniel. So here at Tamjon Elementary School, where I've been for the last couple of hours, the polling station has just closed at 8 p.m. sharp. Over 420,000 registered voters in Songpago District cast their ballots as of 7 p.m., recording a voter turnout of 77 percent. Just to wrap up, early in the morning when the polling station opened at 6 a.m., mainly the elderly came to cast their votes. Then the number of voters coming in steadily picked up, hitting a peak at around 2 and 3 p.m., with many young people and parents with children coming in despite the rainy weather and yellow dust. I got a chance to talk with some of the voters. Take a look. Since I'm disappointed by politics in the country, I came early to cast my vote, hoping for a change. I didn't vote during early voting period last week because I wanted to look at each candidate's campaign pledges more closely. I hope the next president is someone fair and just, someone who can help create more jobs for young people. Along with Gangnam-gu and Seocho-gu, Songpa-gu is part of the so-called Gangnam Three Districts, the most affluent parts of the capital, and they're considered conservative strongholds. Songpago District has the highest number of registered voters in Seoul, close to 550,000, making up more than 6 percent of the capital's electorate. It's an important district, and now that the polling station has closed, government officials and volunteers inside this building are now sealing the ballot boxes, which will be transferred to the Songpago District's ballot counting station under tight police security in the next couple minutes or so. So, yeah, overall, there is this huge fever and you see the old and young couples, singles and families coming out to vote on this 19th presidential election day. Back to you, Daniel.